a light combat vehicle measuring only about 5.5 tons but respectively armed with a 60mm or 90mm main cannon, the French Panhard AML. Born in the 1960s, AML was thrown around the world and is still serving in many countries, Africa being one of its biggest markets. Orders were received from about 30 countries and 1,600 were produced under license in South Africa under the designation Eland. A total of 4,000 AMLs were sold in many different versions, withdrawn from the service in France in the 1990s. The AML is still used in several African countries. AML was designed in 1959 to complement the heavier Panhard EBR. The AML served as a lighter and more agile reconnaissance vehicle for patrolling colonial areas and numerous other tasks open to cheaper vehicles. The 4x4 drive gives it exceptional mobility. Maximum speed on road was 92 km per hour. It could climb a 60% slope and with a 0.33 meters ground clearance, climb a 0.30 meter vertical obstacle, cross a 0.7 trench or fold 1.1 meters of water. AML tourists have two main crew with the commander seated on the left and the gunner on the right. It can carry either a 90mm quick-firing low-pressure gun or a 60mm bridge-loading motor as main weapons. Night vision equipment provides effective nighttime operations and it is provided with an excellent telecommunication system. The AML was once regarded as one of the most heavily armed scout vehicles in service, fitted with a low-velocity DEFA D921 90mm rifled cannon firing conventional high-explosive and high-explosive anti-tank shells, or a 60mm bridge-loading motor with 53 rounds and dura 7.5mm machine guns with 3,800 rounds, or mounted coaxially in the turret. An AML is capable of destroying targets at 1,500 meters with its D921 main gun. The vehicle was a struggled, reliable, fast, and heavily armed, and became an outstanding expert success for a Panhard. AMLs have appeared most prominently in Angola, Iraq, and Chad, as well as in the Lebanese Civil War between 1975 and 1990. This French vehicle didn't have much ammo, but it has outstanding firepower and is excellent in harsh climates of North Africa. It combines the speed and off-road agility of a 4x4 SUV with the firepower of a small tank onto one neighbor platform and chip. AML has been demonstrated on the front lines abroad, especially with the French Foreign Legion in parts of North Africa and among former French colonies. One of the conflicts where the AML saw considerable involvement was in Beirut during the Lebanese Civil War. In that conflict, the AML excelled thanks to its good maneuverability. The AML's high explosive and high explosive anti tank rounds were also used to devastating effect in that tight urban battlefield. The large amounts of the rubber and debris of the AML caused actually helped the platform as it could more easily maneuver through wreckage 
Vehicles and Other Vehicles. Of course, AML has the downsides of the light combat vehicle. Its thin armor leaves the crew vulnerable to enemy fire. The gunner relied on simpler optical size to aim the gun and used manual turret cranks to enter the direction the gun pointed. The AML wasn't air conditioned and all three crew members no doubt are currently suffered, especially in hot climates in Africa where AML saw the most service.